In front of you is an ornately carved door. It magically opens as if it was expecting you. And you step down into an ancient garden. There's no time or space here. There just is. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back with my friend Sky. Hello. We are here at Unplugged Meditation in West Hollywood, California, because she has put me up to a challenge. I've started this challenge and have never finished seven days of meditation. For me, this video is going to be great because my practice has been very inconsistent recently. Mm. I haven't been meditating every day and I know that I need it. So this is going to give me a good reset. I feel like there's this idea that meditation is this very ancient, religious, untouchable. You have to be perfect at it to do it. What I really hope to discover this week is an actual process for meditation. It's very hard to do something by yourself. Going to the group classes will be really helpful to see other people do it and to experience someone else coaching the experience. They have all different types of classes and there are so many different types of meditation. So this will be a cool opportunity to explore different versions of the practice. Hi, I'm Normandy Keith and I'm a Kundalini Yoga and meditation teacher and I teach guided meditation at Unplug. I was modeling and doing a lot of things that promoted the outside. I thought I was okay, but I wasn't. I was very uneasy inside my own skin. I had an accident where, where I fell and I, I broke my, my kind of my face and my nose, which was the most amazing, beautiful thing because it broke the mask of illusion. So I had to find my insides. I had to find myself. Welcome everybody. Yes, of course I'm talking about you. <laughs> Come on in, everybody. Make yourself super duper comfortable. People have misconceptions over meditation all the time. They think that you must be sort of on top of a mountain and have no thoughts and be zened out or blissed out. And that's not it at all. Meditation is not about not having thoughts. It's about being aware and witnessing your thoughts, giving your mind a focus. And usually that focus is just a breath. Tonight, we're just going to work with the breath and work with a visualization just to allow us to experience the beingness. In the Western world, we think we have to have something in order to do something, in order to be something. And in the East, we are, we be something in order to do, in order to have. So we're just gonna work with the concept of the being, just of being exactly where we are and who we are right now. Please close your eyes as if shades are coming down over windows and begin to deepen the inhale and exhale through the nose. Definitely lost consciousness for a portion of it. It didn't feel like 45 minutes. Every time I felt like I was wandering away, I could just focus on her and it kind of brought me back. I was expecting myself to be way more fidgety. I just kind of felt like I almost didn't have the power to move myself if I wanted to. Like, I felt really heavy. That was pretty amazing. At the end of class, I couldn't move. <laughs> you I don't know there. how I was gonna get up. I Everybody like else I got up and left the class and we were just laying there. I know. I didn't even know it ended. Some people might look at this and think like, this is super hippy dippy or whatever, but I think it's the truth. I'm just like noticing everything around me a bit more. Like I have a lot of yeah. clarity. Matt, what do you think about me after the meditation class? She is very, very calm and relaxed. She almost fell asleep while driving, ran through a red light. Oh my god, car. we didn't drive here, we walked. <laughs> and now I'm like, how am I supposed to create that on my own? You know? That's the challenge. <laughs> Brief interruption, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Vanity Planet. They just came out with a digital body analyzer scale. This scale is actually way more comprehensive than a regular one because it also measures your body fat, muscle mass, bone density, and water weight. 
usually to get your body fat measured, you have to have somebody else do it and they use this like pinching tool. And this thing is actually really nice because you just step on it and get all of the information in one place. So this scale usually costs $125, but I was able to get you guys a 60% discount, so it'll only be $50 using the code MK60 via the link in my description. So I'm stuck in horrible traffic right now, and I felt myself getting so frustrated and fuming and just realized that we were just at a meditation class. So I'm <laughs> trying to use the practice while I'm in traffic, and that's really the goal of meditating is to be able to apply it. It is day two of the meditation challenge. Waking up and seeing all the emails I have and texts and everything. Already feel a bit of anxiety about everything I have to do today. Even right now, I'm like, do I actually have time to sit down and meditate for 15 minutes? The answer is gonna be yes. <sighs> Okay, here we go. I did download the Unplug app on my phone. I always have this idea that perfect meditation has to last for like 45 minutes to an hour and I have to be like totally in the zone and like disconnected from your body. And I'm learning more that it's about like a daily practice of stepping outside of yourself and looking at things differently. When you open the app, it asks you, what is your reason for meditating? Select how you want to feel, okay. I want to feel less anxious, okay. <laughs> and allow that sense of softening to move down the body. Allowing the shoulders to move away from the ears. So I just finished the 10 minute at home meditation. It was kind of difficult to get into and then once I did, I was repeating the mantra and it was really helpful. I definitely feel like a bit of the anxiety I was having before was unnecessary and it's calmed down a bit. So I'm really excited to just Continue the rest of my day with this like fresher mindset. Hi, I'm John Sahakian and today at Unplugged Meditation, I'm going to be teaching deep calm. We're about to go into class. I'm gonna hand over my phone. So we just got done with class. John, you're a wizard. <laughs> I feel amazing. I began with sound today. I don't always begin with sound, but if there's a lot of sound, I mean, that's real life going on around us. So instead of trying to escape it, in a sense, you're engaging it through actively listening to it. So as I continue this challenge, what advice do you have for me when I start to also meditate on my own outside of group classes? Create the best environment you can for yourself. That doesn't mean that you have to close all the curtains in your house and make it dark. You can even sit in your car before you get out to go to an appointment or something. So I'm at work right now and it's been a crazy day. It's Monday, there's so much going on. I'm feeling really frantic. I haven't had time today to meditate. It's my lunch break. I'm gonna take a few minutes to use the Unplug app. During the day, our breath and our body and our being can get way out of whack. Meditation just brings us back to center. I like to encourage people to meditate a lot during the day, even just for three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Just bring yourself back to center. That was freaking awesome. I love that I could just sit here and meditate for 10 minutes with a guide because for me, the hardest part about meditating is actually getting myself to do it on my own. I'm sweating. That was awkward. Yeah. Oh, that's a mental and <laughs> physical workout yes. on all levels. It does everything body, mind, and spirit. The meditators that they are now, they're now it's Kundalini yogis and meditators. So success. I have literally never experienced a class like that before. We couldn't film much of it, unfortunately. There was like a lot of chanting. Hun, 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 hun which I was embarrassed to do in the beginning, for sure. It was fun, but it's also like chanting and exercising is difficult. I was like, maybe this is what pop stars feel like when they're like singing and dancing on stage. I remember when I first started chanting, it was so weird to me. Dude, she's like a pro chant. And you just get over it and that's when you surrender to the process and you can open up. But I felt like by the time we got to the meditation, I was able to truly surrender because I was yes. really exhausted and That's I could point. see things really clearly during the meditation too. For sure, it's the physical practice that allows you to surrender to the mental meditation practice. So I just went to a boxing class, hence why I'm so sweaty. And I feel like the meditation is actually helping me focus 
better because it feels like I was able to completely tune in and get in the zone far easier. And I was able to keep a single point of focus during the whole class. We're going to an aromatherapy class today. Yeah. I'm excited about so excited smelling some good things. We both did like intense workouts this morning, so we're all hyped up. We've gotta bring it down a level. So as you're receiving the oil and you're breathing it in, really rest your attention on the nuances of the scent. This is an incredibly complex aroma and it's gonna affect different areas of your body in different ways. Where are you feeling it the most? I'm finally getting home. I'm really tired and I still have so much work to do tonight. I did not have time to get to a class today at Unplug. It's the times when we do feel like this that we have to meditate. That's the time when we really do need to take the five, 10 minutes that we don't think we have. We got the essential oils diffusing. So the scene is set. Right now you've got so much on your mind perhaps weighing even on your heart. So many people, places, conditions, things, events, it just doesn't stop. There are no more office hours. Everything closes in, comes in. You feel that compression of responsibility. Most important thing about looking inward is that our gaze be kind because we've all spent so much time beating ourselves up and speaking negatively to ourselves, no matter what, like I can't do this, I can't, I can't whatever, even so simple as I can't meditate or I'm not doing that right, whatever. It's like, can our words and our gaze be kind when we look inside? Because only if that's happening, can it be kind when we look out. I came into this meditation challenge expecting it to be really boring, really time consuming, and not that exciting. I was really opened up to a whole new world of different ways to help my anxiety, which was really cool. In the beginning, I was really hard on myself when during meditation I wasn't able to focus properly. Hearing Normandy speak about that it's okay to not be perfect at it made me really warm up to it and relax a bit more during the meditation. Oftentimes I hear people say, I just can't meditate, my mind is crazy, it just won't stop. And you know, that's the same with me. All of our minds are just chaotic and they like to stay in control. But with meditation, it's really about just noticing that. Oftentimes I think that I never have time to deal with myself and I make excuses and don't do self-care throughout the day. Even a few minutes is so, so helpful. It was great to be encouraged to breathe and to meditate. It really helped my anxiety this week. I had a super high stress week. I also loved the community at the group classes that we took. Being in the group classes made me feel a little bit more comfortable and held me accountable to not looking at my phone. Meditation can be practiced anywhere, anytime, and the more you do it, the more awareness that you will bring, and that is really the magic of the practice. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit slower paced than my videos usually are. A lot of you guys have been asking about meditation and how to go about doing it, and I hope that you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below with what thing I should try next, and as always, subscribe so we can keep on going on more adventures together. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!